Oh, internet, how I love thee, but at the same time, god damn, I hate you so much. Jenna Marbles, one of YouTube's OG stars, has always made quality content, is genuinely funny, has decided to quit YouTube over videos she made 9, 10 years ago. She was cancelled, essentially. People complained about it and she got cancelled. She cancelled herself, really. The woke Twitter mob is made up of people whose entire existence revolves around being offended by things. It's like they're in a perpetual state of, you hurt my feelings and you're the one that needs to change. Not them needing to just grow a little goddamn backbone, you need to change. It's almost as if their development was stunted or something. They never developed the coping mechanisms needed in order to deal with things that are really just inconsequential if you really think about it. Where it used to be, you said something I don't like, I disagree and I'll move on. Now, it's like you said something I don't like, oh my god, let's round up the mob and get you cancelled, ruin your life. It's pathetic. These people are pathetic. If you are one of these people who habitually go around using terms like problematic, misogyny, rossasm, those words, like, you're pathetic, I'm sorry. And I hate to break it to you, but out in the real world, nobody cares about your feelings. But these are the type of people that got Jenna to quit YouTube after how long, my god, she's been on here forever. This is from Dexerto, Jenna Marbles leaves YouTube following racism allegations. Jenna Marbles is one of YouTube's most popular content creators, boasting over 20 million subscribers on the platform due to her hilarious over-the-top content that she's been posting for over 10 years. There you go, that's how long. Marbles is also known for not getting into drama that seems to permeate the YouTube scene, with many fans calling her an unproblematic queen. But in wake of many callouts against top online entertainers for past offenses, she has now spoken out about her own history. Marbles uploaded a heartfelt video on June 25 discussing her older content, explaining that she wanted to address a few videos in particular that had offended viewers, which have since been set to private. Specifically, the YouTuber brought up a video from 2011 parodying Nicki Minaj, where she wore dark tan foundation and a pink wig. Marbles explained that the makeup matched her tan as seen after she took her wig off at the end of the video, but noted that an argument from her side paled in comparison to the hurt she may have caused regardless of her intentions. I don't know how else to say this, but it doesn't matter, she said, because all that matters is that people were offended and it hurt them, and for that I am so unbelievably sorry. This isn't okay, and it- I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh, but this is just- this is sad. This isn't okay, and it hasn't existed on the internet for a long time because it's not okay. So to summarize, she got a really dark spray tan. Not for the purpose of the video, she didn't just do it so she could do the Nicki Minaj impersonation in blackface. She just had a really dark spray tan on, put a pink wig, and did a Nicki Minaj impersonation and people called it blackface. Marbles went on to address another video made in 2011 that appeared to mock Asian languages, showing the star wearing a rice hat and long mustache. And they don't have the quote here, but let me pull it up real quick. All right, so this is from that video. She says, hey, Ching Chong Wing Wong, shake your King Kong Ding Dong. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's funny. And this is coming from an Asian who has a large portion of their family being Chinese, so. Don't go starting with me. Oh, you're white privilege. Shut the fuck up. I just don't care. And every time I hear stuff like this, I don't care. It's not offensive to me. It's just comedy. It's funny because I obviously being Asian, I have a ton of Asian friends. And when we talk about stuff like this, they're not offended by this kind of crap either. It's usually progressive white people who have been convinced to hate themselves that want to be offended on your behalf. Ah, let's continue because there's a little bit more. It's inexcusable and it's not okay, she said regarding the Asian stuff. I'm incredibly sorry if this offended you, then, now, whenever, that doesn't need to exist. Well, thank you, white savior. I will keep that in mind <laughs> for the future. Switching to this Grazia article for the third portion of this story. A third video from 2012 also saw Marble salute shaming women who have that word with multiple partners, for which she said she had a lot of internalized misogyny back then. To be completely honest, I am so much more offended by this apology than I am of any of the things she's done in her videos. This is absurd. This is just like the radical left has convinced her 
to hate herself and everything she's done because she's white. The spray tan thing she wasn't- <laughs> she didn't even do that with the intention to do blackface. She just happened to have a dark spray tan on when she did the impersonation. And what's the deal? We can't do impersonations anymore? Is that what this is? God, this whole thing is just so stupid. I'm sorry. But at the same time that I'm annoyed at cancel culture and everybody who attacked her that pushed her to the point of doing this, I'm also like not really that pleased with her because she let it happen. She let a very vocal minority, the woke Twitter mob, the cancel culture mob, convince her that she's a horrible human being despite having so much support. I mean, look at the video. Look at the apology video. A message, 818,000 likes and 23,000 dislikes. People are on your side, Jenna. People don't really understand why you have to leave for things that you did so long ago, regardless of whether your stance is that it was wrong or not. I'm of the belief that it wasn't that big of a deal, whatever, it was comedy, but yeah, let's just play your game for a second and say, yeah, the videos are problematic, they shouldn't exist, blah, 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 blah. It happened in the past. What, a person's not allowed to change? Like, I don't understand this. You, At the same time, you're trying to convince people of this new, oh, everything's problematic mindset, but when they adopt it, you cancel them for shit they did in the past anyway. So what's the point? Coming full circle, y'all are pathetic, man. <laughs> Y'all are pathetic as shit. PewDiePie has since responded to this whole thing and put out a community post on YouTube, which reads, Jenna Marbles was one of the most genuinely good people on this platform, and now she gets bullied off the site by mistakes that happened 8 to 10 years ago. Who cares, exactly? These actions reflect in no way who she is and the content she makes today. Anyone who watches her can see that. Some things were more leviant a few years ago, that's not to say it was right, but where the line is drawn from the past and today seems non-existent. I thought the point was to learn from your mistakes and do better. We all have problems in our past, no one in the world is perfect. This site will be filled with nothing but douche tubers who don't care, while the people who do get pushed out. So disappointed with the internet and how far things have gotten. And of course, these are the headlines as well. Where he shows a photo of Sky News saying, Comedy vlogger Jenna Marbles quits YouTube over, <laughs> over raw sassed videos. This post has gotten 682,000 likes. People are on your side, Jenna. There's a lot of discussions about like, oh, if you're not black or Asian, it's not your place to talk about it. Well, I'm the latter, so I'm talking about it. And even if I weren't, people are allowed to have opinions regardless of their skin color. Stop with that. That's what causes real, actual raw sassism. The sad part is this is what's labeled as that now. People label this kind of behavior raw sass. And it's like, travel the world regardless of your skin color. Depending on where you at, you will be treated a certain way because of actual raw sassism. This kind of nonsense, stop conflating this bullshit with actual prejudice because this is pathetic. Anyway, leave a comment down below, smash that like button, and subscribe with all notifications on so I can see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you there.